and a look behind the curtain here. Final preparations for the challenge ahead, hoping to come out of the gates strong. Welcome everyone, thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Minnesota Timberwolves going up against the Dallas Mavericks. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And giving us the rundown from the sideline, David Aldridge. GA, it's all yours. Thank you, Kevin. The Mavs have put the ball in Luka Doncic's hands and asked him to create. Coach Jason Kidd said, I don't know if anybody told Picasso he had to use all the paints, but I just want to remind him. Indeed, that's, uh, that's high praise. A Hall of Famer, DA. Thanks. Now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. We've got Tim Hardaway, Jr., Doncic out there with Irving. Then it's Junior. And it's Mack in at the five. And for Minnesota, a pair of number one picks are at the forwards. Edwards in Towns. Bottoms is out there with Conley. And it's Davidson in at center. The Timberwolves secured a spot in the playoffs last season, Greg, and we enjoyed it after they got that emotional win in the play-in game in the Twin Cities over the Clippers. What a night. And, Kevin, you could tell it meant a lot to the players. This is a team that has struggled for so long. And by getting to the playoffs, this is a step in the right direction. So the Timberwolves win the tip. Here's Bottoms, covered by Irving. Davidson passes to Towns. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Boy, in sync with his teammate on that possession. Well done by Towns on that pass. Outside Irving. Pass to Doncic. And they double up Doncic. Here's Irving. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. I think Kyrie is really frustrating for the defense because he makes it look so easy and his shot is so natural. There's Bottoms. We saw him with 39 points last game out. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. And he's got his first chance at the line here. One shot. The free throw drops for Towns. With the regular season just getting started, what's it like for rookies, Greg, who are beginning these new pro careers? But let me tell you, Kevin, the speed of the pro game is startling. If things are happening so fast, it can take years for the game to slow down. Now here's Conley following the miss by Kyrie Irving. Edwards passes to Bottoms. Here's Towns, guarded by Hardaway. And it's Towns missing. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Steps back and fires. It's hard to weigh that time on the assist by Doncic. Skilled at scoring in a variety of ways. I mean, give Hardaway Jr. these looks, and he's happy to oblige. A nice shot by Bottom. Bottom's got his second bucket of the night. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far and you know what they're going to keep using him. i mean he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today you can bank on that here's Doncic after the basket by minnesota right side irving back to Doncic. it's good he makes his first shot of the game well his iq is one of the best in the league irvin has a great feel for when his teammates are open. Towns, a screen on Irving. The pass to Towns. Trains it from beyond the arc. Towns has got six. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Irving with it. 33 points last game. Stolen by Conley. Here's the break. Ahead. Here's Bottoms. And he goes right over Luka Doncic and slams it down. 
and you know Conley developed great vision in terms of the floor and that allows him to spot an open teammate awesome rewind courtesy of the AT&T 5G slam camp now here's Doncic and Matt kicks to Irving Again, the Mavericks score. You know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So, early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you like to see it. There's Bottoms. He's got six. And that one, good. He's got eight. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. And it's the Mavericks with the ball after the basket by Minnesota. Donchich outside. And the foul called on Edwards. That is his first foul of the game. First personal foul. First team foul. Approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Great job preventing that ball from coming into the post. Might have been an easy two if the defense wasn't there. Passes to Bottoms. Here's Davidson. Battles through traffic and lays it in. And they're forcing the ball inside and it's working like a charm. Mavericks trail by eight. Doncic outside. Nailed from three-point land. Doncic has got five points so far. Well, you better get out there on this guy. Doncic is prime time for real from that three-point line. Towns a screen on Irving for the three. Adams can't get it to go. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And you look at all the things Doncic can do. One in particular, he can control the pace of the game. And Greg, I love that about him. His size, his strength, his savvy, his skill set. You really can't speed him up at the offensive end. Everything he does is at his pace and his tempo. He methodically breaks you down. Here's Irving. Defense is right there. Donchich outside. Over Conley. Knocks down the step back Jay. He has seven. Donchich doesn't give the mid-range a lot of love, but he has the touch to knock it down from there. Conley against Donchich. Bottoms. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Conley's got three assists tonight. Boy, what a quarter for him. I mean, he's found his rhythm, and he's really riding that wave right now. And it's the Mavericks with the ball. Nine-point game. This is their first chance this season playing the Timberwolves. Yeah, and going back to last year, this series was an even split. Yeah, guys, they feel like they're the better team. The standings would agree with that. And I look for them to assert that with their play tonight. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game.
Let's check out some of the numbers here on Carl Anthony Towns. Great showing for him last season. And a great touch around the rim. Top 15 in field goal percent. And back to his points per game average last year. He literally propped up the team's offense whenever they needed it. outside Mack looking around past the junior on the wing Doncic six on the shot clock and that one off the back of the rim and in Doncic has got nine points how about he has yet to miss 4-4 four four to start yeah he's setting himself up to be their go-to guy today Here's Bottoms. A beautiful reverse goal. 16 points for him. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Doncic finds Matt Irving for three. And no good. And Minnesota will come the other way. They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. That mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up. Boy, you know, it takes character, poise, toughness to win on the road, and that's exactly what they showed last game. Now Conley, after Luka Doncic's three-pointer that didn't go to the paint. Here's Towns, and that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got four assists in the game. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. They trail by 11. During the summer of 2021, the Mavericks had some major changes. Longtime head coach Rick Carlisle left after 13 years in Dallas. And they also got a new GM. I mean, he's just been brilliant today, guys. And it was the same exact story last time out. I wasn't quite sure if he'd be able to maintain that same level of play. I had my doubts coming into this game. But consider my doubts disappear. That one falls. 18 points for Bottoms. Coaching staff changes aside, Clark. Do front office moves affect players that much? I think they do, Kevin. It's hard for them not to. Normally, we see a flurry of trades or free agent signings. Uh, we saw it with the Mavericks trading away Christoph Porzingis, changing the composition of their squad, going in a different direction. So that'll take some adjusting, too. The kick out to Irving. Knocks down the three ball. And the confidence Urban has is, is something I really appreciate. I mean, he's ready to shoot it as soon as he gets it and not afraid of any kind of shot. There's Bottoms. 18 points for him. Near the three-point line, it's Edwards. And there are the Timberwolves with another bucket. The swaying intensity right off the opening tip especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with guns blazing. Now, here's Doncic. He really played well in that last game against Golden State. It's good. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. Timberwolves leading by eight. There's 154 left to play here in the first. And here's Edwards from the arc. It's rebounded by Dallas. They come in fresh off a win against the Warriors. And that one was all about offensive execution. Running your plays, picking your spots. Yeah, you know, not deviating from the game plan is critical. you got to trust in the system. Here's Davidson. Timberwolves passing it around. Here's Towns. Banked in off the glass. Towns has got 10 points. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Timberwolves. They're really mucking things up for the opposition, racking up steal after steal, just not letting them develop any kind of offensive rhythm. You know, points off turnovers is something else they've excelled in. I expect the opponent at least to try to squeeze that orange a little better. Second shot opportunity, and Junior with the nice bucket inside. That kind of energy and hustle on the glass usually produces good results. And uh, 101 left here in the first quarter. 
Over to the wing. Here's Bottoms, covered by Irving. They double him with Irving. He'll kick out to Town. Craps in the tray. Towns has got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for Minnesota. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Very high percentage so far, and if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. And here is Irving. After the three-pointer from Carl Anthony Towns to the inside, here's Doncic. There's the triple. And Irving with the basket on the assist by Doncic. Doncic has got three assists tonight. Timberwolves leading by eight. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Towns, and there's another one for the Timberwolves. Just a great hustle play there. Energy and passion. This is what you play the game for. Twenty seconds left in the first quarter. Irving looking for an opening. Fires the three. Again, Irving missing. And so it's Minnesota going into the break with a 10-point lead. They've done a lot of great work from long range. Right back after this break. 27. margin on the scoreboard but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback and before we move on what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Timberwolves well in that first quarter they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low yeah and it's worked they've got a clear edge and points in the paint now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside on the court for Dallas here in the second we've got Doncic Wood out there with Green, and it's Kyrie Irving, and it's Mack in at the center, locking down the middle. Timberwolves leading by eight. And you watch the way Doncic runs this offense. He's become a master at the pick and roll. Incredible to see someone run it to perfection. Here's Bottoms. Boom! He jams it straight down. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. And guys, I know there are a lot of questions right now defensively for this team. There's no doubt about that. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Now, from the step back to his attacking style, some have compared Luka Doncic to the beer, James Harden. There are some similarities, Harden said. Being able to dictate and control the game like he does, he never lets anyone speed him up, and he gets what he wants. Back to you, Kevin. He always has. They're both pretty fun to watch. David, thank you. And with Doncic in the pick-and-roll game, he's so good at such a young age. It's amazing how well he reads the defense. But he can also freeze the defender or create confusion with that hesitation. He has all the tricks to run it. And here is Irving. After the three-pointer from Carl Anthony Towns, Doncic outside. Back to Irving. Just five on the clock. The shot's good on the assist by Doncic. Irving's got 13 points. The fire that Irving plays with, admirable. I mean, you can feel it. When you make a three on him, it's payback time. He's coming at you. They get it again. Here's Gobert, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. The Timberwolves shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. A year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. 
you know, something you can point to when you're talking about their areas of success last season, free throw shooting. Irving, good. Irving. Irving has the touch needed to do damage from just about anywhere, including from there. There's Bottoms. He's covered by Irving. And blocked the ball with his palm. What a defensive play. And the rejection by Towns. Aggressive defense from Towns. They're staying all over the shot and getting a clean block. Kindly the pass to Bottoms. That's a two from Towns. A shot missing. And the Mavericks going the other way now. Green inside. Edwards defending. Outside Irving. Again, Irving missing. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Bottoms, the pass to Conley. Pass to Bottoms. Feeds it to Gobert. And slam dunk by Gobert. He won't find a higher percentage shot in this league. Gobert from ground zero. Mavericks trail by 10. Here is Irving. 15 points in the game. Donchich outside. And then down as he goes right over Rudy Gobert. Luke is flying to the rim and putting it on top of the defender's head. Mark, just a few years ago, we saw a lot of teams toying with small ball lineups. But I think you'd agree, unquestionably, big men are back. You know, Kevin, I would agree because simply when you look at it, there are a lot of really high-quality big guys that can do it inside and out. And so going small is a less frequent approach at this point. And it's one that poses a lot of challenges in my mind. So the Timberwolves call their first timeout. Courtesy of the 2K leaderboard, here's a peek at the league's top scores from a season ago. Third is Luka Doncic. And looking back, his points per game really underscore the fact that he never took a game off. I mean, one special performance after another all season long. There's Bottoms. 20 points for him. Outside Edwards. There's Bottoms. He's covered by Irving. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. Well, you know, if you're not going to take care of the defensive glass, it's going to be hard to come away with the win. Powell trying to free himself up. Count that one. And the Timberwolves lead has been cut down now to just seven on the bucket from Irving. There's Bottoms. And two points for him. No one near Edwards as he lets it fly. Buries the long-range jumper. Edwards got his second basket of the night. Now Irving. Outside Green. A leaner. Anthony Edwards with the rebound. And here's Edwards. He'll bring it up for Minnesota. the pass to Bottoms. From deep three-point range. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Green left side. He kicks to Irving. Donchich outside. Back to Irving. Six to shoot. Turns out of bounds. The Mavericks able to retain possession here. And a quick look at how the Minnesota Timberwolves schedule is shaping up. On Saturday, they'll host the New York Knicks. Then on Wednesday, they'll face off against Donovan Mitchell and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Here's Doncic. 20 points for him. And here's Wood outside. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Minnesota leading by 10. 
The Mavericks GA have been trying to tighten up their defense the past few seasons, and it's beginning to show. And we're seeing signs that the players are getting the message, and they're spending more energy at that end of the floor, and that's essential for any elite team. A shot's good from Irving. And he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. Outside town. Edwards against Green. Gobert with a screen for Edwards. Cranes the three-pointer. Edwards got the lead up to 11 now for the Timberwolves. After having none in the first, he gets two three-point shots to go here. Magic's outside. And they double up Doncic from deep green. No good on that one. Minnesota's gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three-pointers in this game. Not bad at all. Here's Edwards. Here's Bottoms. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Boy, and I used to love going up and jamming it down like that, guys. Anjic passes to Irving. The 10-footer. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got six assists in the game. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Edwards, that's good. You know, he's had better starts, obviously, but he's shaking it off here in the second. An average trail by 13. And the Mavericks call time here. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Switch here. Hardaway's checked in. Now let's see the stat sheet here on Mike Conley. A very nice season for him last year. And he also finished in the top 20 of the assist rankings, making plays for others and making his teammates better. And as we saw last season, a difficult guy to run the offense against. Constantly jumping the passing lanes. Always, always a threat to create a turnover. There's Bottoms after Luka Doncic's bucket. Towns finds Conley. To Towns and Towns throws it down. Well, you know, we've become used to seeing Towns own the offensive end of the floor. It just lets the game come naturally to him. Mavericks trail by 13. On Jedge passes to Irving. No good off the of front iron. Minnesota's gone for the three pointer seven times here in the second and been successful three times. Bottoms, 24 points for him. Kicks it to Towns, launches a three, and another three for Minnesota. Well, he with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now here's Irving. He's got 21. Step back shot. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert's got his fifth rebound in this one. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. There's Bottoms. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. And yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. 127 left in the first half. Outside Irving. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Irving's got 24 points. Minnesota leading by 16. There's Bottoms. Here he goes. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. The Timberwolves have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. Junior's checked in for Dallas. <laughs> 
104 left in the second quarter. Outside Hardaway. Here's Doncic. Yes, and it's Hardaway picking up the assist. 24 points for Luka Doncic. And you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. Diversified scoring in this one for him. I love when everyone can get involved. A, a full team effort. There's Bottoms. 27 points for him. Two points. That one goes. Not a lot of resistance on the inside. And they're taking full advantage. The play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. 19-point game. Is it to Irving? We've got 28 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Inside, here's Wood, and finished off by Wood. You know, it's all about getting good position, ideal position. And once Wood has that, the rest is simple. Here is Edwards. He picked up 21 points in their last win against Miami. Down in the low post, it goes. Edwards got 13 points in just this quarter. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. A great display of concentration and tenacity from Irving there. Fighting his way through contact, getting it up and down, plus the five. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. That free throw good from Kyrie Irving. And the Timberwolves with possession here. Next step for them, the Knicks coming out here to play. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. He's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident, too. As a matter of fact, I mean, he's stacking up threes the way he is. I mean, he's doing all his work from behind the arc. Welcome, everybody. Let's get right to it. It's been nothing short of a tremendous challenge for the Dallas Mavericks. Just bad interior defense for them throughout the half. They're getting pushed around, not protecting the rim, allowing easy looks. That's the kind of D I love to face. I've had at least 30 by now, guys. And now let's see who the winners of the Player of the Week were. Out in the East, Joel Embiid. The big man, Joel Embiid. He's so patient with his moves and decision making now. His combination of size and feet work are incredible. You guys had a. Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Harlan for the start of the second half. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Bottoms having a dominant impact in this game. In that first half, he was a hot knife, and the defense was butter. Sliced right through them. Well, you know what, guys? My question is this. Who's he going to posterize in this half? You know, we've already gotten a number of filthy dunks out of him. A pair of number one picks are at the forwards. Edwards in town. Conley out there with Bottoms. And it's Davidson in at the five spot. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Count that one. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. He gets it in there. Doncic has got 26 points. Boy, once Doncic gets on the roll, there aren't many ways to slow him down. Huge night so far. Here's Edwards, and Edwards with the stuff. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. He is delivering a lot of room service times tonight. One sweet one after another. Here's Junior after the basket by Minnesota. Hardaway from outside. He doesn't hit that one. 
Timberwolves leading by 21. Greg, you have to love the impact that Tim Hardaway Jr. has had on the defensive end. He's got a great wingspan to bother shooters and contain penetration. Always aware of where the ball is on the floor. You could call him an underrated defender. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Irving passes to Matt. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got assist number five here tonight. One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end, always in attack mode. Now here is Conley. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Towns dishes to Edwards. Shot clock at six. Minnesota needs to get off a shot here. Conley with the three. The Mavericks pull it in. Doncic has got four rebounds in this game. Again, the Mavericks score. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Minnesota's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Towns, a screen on Hardaway. Edwards kicks to Towns. Towns is double. Outside, Edwards. Pass to Towns. But Trey hands it from downtown. Towns has got 26. Nice read by Edwards there, finding a wide-open teammate and sending the ball his way on target. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. And the Mavericks call time here. It's been quite a game for Bottoms. And he continues to burn them with his scoring. And the coaching staff's going to have to come up with a different approach defensively. A moment here now to see the numbers for Anthony Edwards. He had a strong showing last season. And he ranked in the top 15 in points per game. One of the league's premier offensive threats. And like a thief in the night, he will pick your pocket clean. Top 10 in steals, as you said last year. Always a threat to cause a turnover. Irving's shot is good. I'll tell you what, I don't think there's been a single shot that Irving has wanted and didn't get so far. Doncic comes with the double team. Hardaway against Edwards. Towns wide open. And the three off target. Mavericks trail by 20. Outside Irving. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have gone. And he banks in the layup. Irving's got 31 points. Well, I tell you what, Kyrie is an absolute magician inside. I mean... It's obvious that he works on his finishing, but he works on big guy drills, too. That makes him even more impossible to deal with. I don't know if we've seen a better finisher in the history of the game that's 6'5 or short. Here is Conley following the basket by Kyrie Herbert. Conley the pass to Towns and stolen by Junior. Now here's Doncic. 28 points for him. Count that one. Boy, he's making it look really easy right now. I expect him to continue to run the offense through him until the defense makes him change plans. Now here is Conley. It's a 16-point game. Let's it go from deep. And it's Towns missing. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Moving against Conley. Pass to Doncic. Over Edwards and Dallas again with the bucket. And you know, you look at Doncic for a forward, this guy handles the ball extremely well. He's terrific at creating for himself off the dribble. Now here's Edwards. 20 points for him. Bottoms can't get it to go. Dallas with the ball. They're on a 12 to 3 run. Irving passes to Doncic. Irving a screen on cup. Junior with it. Down to five on the shot clock. Irving can't get it to go. Edwards against Doncic. There's the pass to Towns. 
Here's Davidson. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Conley's got his seventh assist in the game. But when you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. And you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Now, here is Irving. He has 31. Count that one. And the Timberwolves lead has been cut back down to 14 after they get the hoop from Luka Doncic. But, well, you know, guys, we know Hardaway can score, but when he makes these passes, it makes him a lot more dangerous. There's Bottoms. He's got 29 points. Towns for three. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Junior's got four rebounds now tonight. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. And he makes that one. Great assist that time by Kyrie Irving. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. And the Timberwolves call timing. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Green, no luck. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Anderson up top, guarded by Doncic. Bottoms, the pass to Gobert. Timberwolves passing it around. Oh! Yeah! Oh, and the dunk to finish it off. A ah, beauty. And how about the recognition by Gobert? I mean, of course, it does help when you're seven feet like Rudy. It can give you a clean view of the court. Mavericks trail by 16. Hardy passes to Doncic. And they double up Doncic. And the wide open shot from Green. They get it back. And Matt kicks to Wood. Good. And the nice assist from Matt. Wood's got five. Wood's range makes him really dangerous. He's effective as a floor spacer. And here's Anderson. No points in the game yet for him. Now Gobert. Back to Anderson. Screen by McDaniel. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Floats it up for Wood. Stolen by Anderson. Here's Noel. Guarded by Doncic. Count it. Gobert's got his second basket of the night. And the bulk of Gobert's offense is going to come down low. Even if the D knows that, it can still be tough to stop. Two minutes. 156 left to play in the third. Here's Doncic. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. Here is Anderson. Bear with a screen for Anderson. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves credit them for not settling. I mean, they've been in attack mode off the dribble all game long, and thus far, it's been off. And you know, they've done a fantastic job scoring inside as a result, finding plenty of opportunities to cash in near the hoop. Now, here's Doncic. He's got 36. Great positioning on the putback. 
And, and those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Anderson against Wood. Wood with the block. Boy, the length and activity of Wood making a huge impact here. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And that has got to help the morale of this team. Let's see if that sets up a run here. There's a minute left in the third quarter. Anderson passes to Noel. Gobert, the screen. Locked again. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain possession. Long range from the inbound. And that's a foul called on Bottoms. That is his first foul of the game. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Mavericks. They trail by 14. Passes it to Matt. And that's a foul called on Bottoms. That's foul number two for him. First team foul. Forty-three seconds left in the third quarter of the game, and Matt kicks to Doncic. Lock at six. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Good on the three-point shot. Woods got six in the quarter, and a fantastic decision maker. Wood recognizes when he should shoot once he catches the pass. Minnesota leading by eleven. 19 seconds left to play here in the third. There's Bottoms. 33 points for him. Five on the clock. Shoots the three. The shot. No good. And so it's Minnesota holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. We're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed. And you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Yeah, platinum level dime drop in there, fellas. Accurate and on time. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. On the floor for Dallas starting the fourth quarter here. They've got Kyrie Irving. Hardaway is out there with Junior. Then there's Doncic, and it's Mack in at the five down low. You know, confidence feeds on itself, and the more experience Edwards gets, I think the more confidence he'll continue to gain, especially operating in these pick-and-roll sets. Now, here is Irving. Here's Doncic, and that one hits back island. Timberwolves leading by 14. Edwards looking it over. Pass to Noel. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. Pass to Davidson. Outside Edwards. A three-pointer off the mark. Mavericks trail by 14. We play just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Irving dishes to Junior. Hardaway sets a screen for Junior. Down low, here's Matt. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Minnesota's gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. Moving against Edwards. Gobert with a screen on Doncic. Noel drops in the layup for two. 
Noel's got his first points of the night. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Outside Irving. Good. And the assist goes to Dungeon. Irving's got 34 points. And that's another three. And if really, if the defense is hoping that they don't heat up from out there like they did in the first half, they may be in for a real bad surprise. Back to go bear. Plays it up and banks it in. Unselfish. As somebody who already draws a lot of defensive attention, Edwards has to be willing to make that next pass. Doncic kicks to Hardaway. Outside Irving. Beyond the arc. Gobert pulls it in. Gobert has got six rebounds here tonight. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Edwards passes to Noel. Krills it from outside. Noel's got five points now in the quarter. You know, pretty much anybody can hit that shot when they're that wide open. I mean, terrible defense. Now, here is Irving. Doncic feeling it out. The 10-footer. Chalk up two there. Doncic has got 38 points. You can trust Luka to make the most of a close shot. I mean, he won't waste a high percentage look most times. Minnesota calls timeout. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game. Bottom. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, He's had the answer. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Hey, guys, here's what Chris Finch went over with his guys during the break. He said, this is where mistakes can kill us. This is where mistakes can turn this thing completely around. Protect the basketball and make the simple play. In other words, guys, no hero ball right now. Thanks, David. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. So Mack will bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. It's a 14-point game. Irving's shot is good. Irving. Minnesota's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Edwards against Irving. The pass to Towns. Shot clock at six. Yeah, but in the first half, he was just purely flawless as a ball secure. But that certainly hasn't been the case here in the second half. Bottoms, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Irving up top. He kicks it to Junior. On the wing, Doncic. And they double up Doncic. And the foul called on Edwards. That'll be his second foul of the game. And the NBA last season announced the creation of six new trophies for the division winners. And named them after six pioneering players. Kevin, anytime you can connect the past, the legacy of the league to the present in meaningful ways, I think that's a winning situation. I mean, greats like Wayne Embry, Sam Jones, Willis Reed, who paved the way for generations of black players. I mean, I think it's a great move to recognize them and continue to realize the importance they play in helping to build the foundation for which the league stands now. And maybe, you know, he thinks he can shoot himself out of the cold spell, but I don't think that's the case. Maybe somebody want to you know, ease up off the three. Now, here's Doncic.
Doncic finds Hardaway. Here's Mack. Good on the shot, and that shades the lead to single digits. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Hits the three-point bomb. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. You're exactly right. I mean, those come back to bite you every time, just like it's biting them now. Now, here's Doncic. And he drops it in from the low post. Doncic has got 42 in the game. He is just self-willing, his team right now, doing everything he can to keep them alive. Minnesota leading by nine. Outside Edwards. Passes it to Bottoms. Puts it up from 15. Mavericks with the rebound. Now you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look. But when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Edwards with it. Kicks to Towns. Takes the three. They grab their own miss. Conley with a wide open look. No good from outside. You know, defensively, you just can't afford to give him that much room. They're fortunate that he missed that one. Anjic passes to Matt. Conley against Doncic. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And now just a five-point Timberwolves lead. How impressive is Doncic? This guy is incredible at stepping up in big moments. Here's Edwards. And no good that time. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Irving passes to Doncic. And good that time. Doncic has got 46 points. The adjustments they've made offensively, they're putting guys in a position now to succeed. It's certainly been an impressive run. They finally found the right formula to break down the defense. And the Timberwolves call time. Covered by Irving. And here's Conley outside. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Well, and this has been their strategy throughout the fourth period. We'll see how it pans out. You know what? Teams can get a little three happy down the stretch sometimes. Letting it fly. And here is Irving. Michael Conley getting his three to go. Irving kicks to Hardaway. Here's Junior, and Junior throws it down. Good to see a player going all out when the game's this tight. You know, G.A., he knows what his job is. Patrol the offensive glass. You know, that time, I thought he did it with authority. Tremendous putback at a time when they really need it. So it's the Timberwolves now. The Mavericks making the shot. As to Towns, to the middle. Davidson. He's covered by Matt. Doncic dishes to Irving. Here's Davidson. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. At the line for Minnesota. One shot. Mavericks trail by seven. From ten feet out, the rebound by Davidson. Davidson's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Outside Edwards. There's Bottoms. Goodbye, Hardaway. Just floating to the rim on that slam. Boy, when he gets up, I mean, he gets up. 
Yes, he does. That's what we call helium. East rising and helium floating. Irving can't get it to go. Minnesota's got eight shots off from three-point land and hit half of them. Trying to lay the pass to Bottoms. Towns a screen on Doncic. And Towns gets it to go. And now an 11-point Timberwolves lead. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. And here's Edwards. He'll bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. Doncic comes with the double team. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. And I think they can start that celebration right now. I mean, what a terrific team victory. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Irving kicks to Hardaway. No good, unable to end this run. Conley against Doncic. And here is Conley. And so it's the Timberwolves taking care of business here. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, I mean it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. Uh, I think they built off that edge of being here and, and play with just a little more confidence than their opponent. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. With Carl Anthony Towns, you look so calm on the block. What has that focus been like for you? Just being patient, uh, waiting for my shot to come, not really forcing anything, but also being aggressive. And you do both very well. Thanks, Kat. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone.